Question 5. If you read the introduction, okay, it talks about enzymes present in living cells okay, uh, in potato liver. You may not have learned this specifically, but the concept of enzyme is within your reach. Okay? And when you have not learned the specifics, they will give you the details. So this is what catalase enzyme does to hydrogen peroxide. So this question is about enzymes. And if you read um, the question um, further, you will analyze that there are two things that um, they are looking that possibly they could be investigating. One is the effect of temperature, and the other is the effect of surface area to volume ratio. So I have written it over here. Okay, written it over here. What are the factors they're looking at? So that you can uh, understand what this question is about. Right, so then you need to look at the um, experimental um, setup. Okay, this is hydrogen peroxide where they put either potato or liver. And when this reaction happens, oxygen will be bubbled through. And by displacement, the volume of um, liquid will, will change because uh, oxygen will fill up this space. Okay, so uh, it goes on to say um, what they have done with the other portion. So one, they started with, with a cube and the other one smaller pieces okay uh, then the other boil cube uh, the other cube was boiled and the smaller pieces were boiled and this was repeated for um, the liver now the oxygen volume of oxygen is taken uh, from the difference between here and here this being zero this is five four and a half rather no this one is, sorry, this is four and a half. Okay. This one is six and a half. This, of course, is zero. Zero. So, this are uh, the answers. Here is six. This is ten. And there's nothing. Uh, there's no oxygen here. So, it's zero, zero. Okay. To one uh, decimal place because that's the degree of accuracy for measuring cylinder. Okay, describe the difference between sample A for potato and sample uh, A for liver. So annotate, girls, please annotate to help you do it. Okay, answer this question. So first, you can write down 5 cm cube, 8 cm cube. Then they ask you to describe the difference. So you can either say a uh, higher, but I think uh, looking back at my answers, I, I think if they give you a... Uh, a number then it will be better if you can state the difference in a number so this question is an easy question it's a matter of systematically addressing the question okay write it down so that you can uh, it will lead you to the answer and you must make sure you address what they want you to describe okay now there is a difference in the results between a and b so i wrote it down here again Suggest an explanation for this difference. So they don't want you to tell the difference now. They need to explain. So the biology concept here is the surface area to volume ratio of the cells um, that are exposed to the hydrogen peroxide so that the enzymes can then work on the hydrogen peroxide solution. Okay. B part 1, I think it's easy. Then again, uh, for B part 2, you can write down here, explain the results set up in C and D. In C and D, there's 0, 0.0 cm cube of, uh, of oxygen. Okay. Now, if you wrote this, you're not explaining because you're not talking about the biology concept. So the concept here is about enzymes. And when you boil it, it will be denatured, number one. And the active site configuration will change. So the hydrogen peroxide will not be able to bind to the active site. I think you know that already. It's about systematically writing your answers. Okay, lastly, because this is an enzyme, 
Okay, enzyme, the factor that affects enzyme, there are only two. Temperature, okay, which is already in the question. And the other, okay, not shown here, is of course pH. So that is for this question.